today morning i happened to deliver a lecture in kanjipuram all the thing in kanjipuram many people outsiders know nobody in kanjipuram knows about the speciality of the gopuram about the kanjipuram gopuram rhs and lhs same you know if you put a mirror here the civil engineering pattern of kanjipuram gopuram is so perfect and it is constructed nearly 200 ad and a cement produced in india we used to get portland cement from 1920 onwards 1920 onwards portland cement used to come here and we used to construct our concrete building using portland cement if it rains water will not go outside <laughs> but here in patnabha swami temple and also go to this uh, kanjipuram temple the pagodas and the corridor not even a single drop of water will fall inside if it is raining torrentially even so that that cement so many things i am just jerking from the mathematics to astronomy astronomy to health science health science i jerked into iron pillar just a civil engineering why this fast movement not my mistake it is his mistake 45 minutes only given <laughs> within 45 minutes i have to complete all these things now so so take any branch just i am telling now few quotation as such last time when i came here i gave like this william harvey discovered blood circulation dhamanyo raktavahinah chaturvimshadiradita kulya bhirivakeda rarasta birdeho bivardade this is in sangeeta ratnagaram sharnadara road ad 900 dhamanyo raktavahinah blood vessels carrying the blood are 24 numbers in our body chaturvimshati ratita kulya birivakedar just like tubes are used for taking water towards paddy field like the water is taken to the paddy field in a tube these blood vessels carry blood to all our body so blood vessels blood circulation not discovered by william harvey the the uh, i mean wave nature of sound vichi taranganyayena shabda ulpatti bc 300 gautama maharshi has explained it correctly correctly and heisenberg uncertainty principle you have known eka samaye cha ubayan anavadharanam if you can understand the sanskrit meaning very simple eka samaye at a time ubayan two properties anavadharanam impossible to perceive so eka samaye cha ubayan anavadharanam fourth chapter third line of patanjali's yoga shastra and darwin's theorem jatyandara parinama prakritya purat evolution of the living being is the rule of the nature and so nicely they have given the definition for atom apakarsha paryantam dravyam paramanu revam inferior most particle of a matter is known as atom paramanu iti prokta jnani naam drishti gochara what we call as paramanu can be seen only by scientists paramanu iti prokta whatever we call as paramanu jnani naam drishti gochara only the knowledgeable people can see that and understand that one so such a good way you know vimana shastra written by bharadwaja vimana shastra is a small part of a big book you know what is that big book amshu bodhini amshu bodhini has got 160 chapter and in which 40th chapter is vimana tantra vimana tantra is split into 55 chapters and it starts with the line desha deshaandaram yaddat loka lokaandaram tada dwipa dwipaandaram jaiva yo ambare gandu marhati sa vimana iti prokta kheda shastra vidambaraihi so desha deshaandaram yaddat from one country to another country dwipa dwipaandaram tada from one island to another island desha deshaandaram yaddipa loka lokaandaram tada from one loka to another loka yo ambare gandu marhati 
through the sky it goes sa vimana iti prokta that is what is known as vimana that name is given by kheda shastra pidambaraihi those who are expert in space science they gave this name so 40th chapter of amshu bodhini describes about vimana shastra italian scientists have taken 12 patents from that 12 patents from that that is available in uh, journal of the uh, heritage science indian national science academy published one journal every three month a very nice journal they have published it and also the 160 chapters in amshu bodhini of which an 109th chapter is spectrophotometer 109th chapter starts like this dwanda pramabagam nama navotra shatatmakam yendram bharadwajena dhimata virachitam dwanda pramabagam nama the name of that spectrophotometer which can be used for measuring uv ir visible rays and heat rays is known as dwanda pramabagam nama navotra shatatmakam yendram 109th yendra in amshubhutini it has got 32 parts and thorough study has been conducted by professor ng dongre saha institute and he has taken 14 patent from that and whatever dwanta pramapaka yandram developed by him has been kept in iit delhi if you go there you can see that so it is not merely speculations or miracle something like that you can directly see you know in indian science stands in four pillar indian science stands in four pillar what are the four pillar first pillar pratyaksham pramanam second pillar shastram pramanam third pillar apta vakyam pramanam fourth pillar anumanam pramanam so scientific proofs are available pratyaksham pramanam seeing is believing shastram pramanam science is the base of everything and apta vakyam pramanam opinion of the scholars can be taken as the basis anumanam pramanam guessing and estimating guesstimating is the pramana for that so four pramanas so scientific logical rational nicely so shastram pramanam from bhagavad gita apta vakyam pramanam from dharma shastra pratyaksham pramanam from gautam gautamas nyaya shastra anumanam pramanam from ayurveda so full proof indian scientific knowledge why should we learn indian scientific knowledge when we are living in the 21st century ultra modern scientific era why should we learn these things first thing for feeling proud that i am an indian if you are an indian next question we you are proud of being an indian because the past of this country is so glorious and i was delivering a lecture in kuwait i asked the question to that students do you know when kali yuga started no student answered that i am sure none of you will also answer but after 2 minutes one student stood up and said sir i know when kali yuga started then i said if i would have asked this question when kali yuga started in india not even a single student would have answered but now in kuwait one student is answering that great please tell me when kali yuga started immediate with courage just like swami vivekananda said ma be fearless way he said 1947 august 15th <laughs> so kali yuga started 1947 august 15th then i said exactly it is not that it may be true also because up to 1947 august 15th foreigners destroyed our culture and heritage after that we took the responsibility of destroying that then then that way it is all but literally kali yuga started during 3102 bc february 17th thursday midnight 1155 bc 
102 February 17th Thursday midnight 11.55 Earth, Moon, Sun, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and Venus came directly in the Alpha Aries point. The Alpha Aries point. So that yoga of Graha created the yuga. You know up to 1820 up to 1820, world over ADBC was not used. Only KE was used. Luckily, nobody knows, including we ourselves. KE, Kalira. And after 1820, all the past were recalculated with the ADBC. Otherwise, it is not there. Only Kalira, time corrections and everything was done based on Kalira, because it is based on an astronomical parameter. ADBC, that is not based on an astronomical parameter. It is based on Jesus Christ. BC means before Christ. AD means after our God. So during our God, what is the number? Before Christ, BC. After our God is AD. So during these 63 years, what is that? That second letter of Malayalam or Tamil. What is second letter of Malayalam or Tamil? Ah. We do not know. <laughs> so we do not know what happened during the period of Jesus Christ. So that is enough for them. But for us it is not enough. Because their whole history starts after 800 AD. Our history goes back to, as I told you, Dr. A.K. Vishwas and Dr. B.K. Vishwas, Minerals and Metals of India is uh, Banaras Hindu University and IIT, Kanpur. IIT Lucknow and IIT Kharagpur, they have combinedly done the studies of uh, thousands of materials uh, using Giger Muller counter and found that our history goes back to BC 8275. The oldest artifact discovered from Kalibangan, Bhagavanpura, Mehargar, Chinchudaro, Bhagavanpura, and so on places. English people wanted to keep Indian history up to 100. And 1500 BC. You know what is the reason? They never allow Indian history go behind, I mean beyond 1500 BC. Because Adam and Eve, these two fellows born on 3112 October 4th at 12 o'clock. So before that human being should not be there in their third all. Even though we have got 69,000 year old human body, that should be after Adam and Eve only. <laughs> this problem, they always wanted to see Indian history never goes beyond a particular thing. But our Dr. Rao and hundreds and thousands of modern scientists, particularly metallurgists, they have gone deep into these things. And our Kali Yuga era calculations and history and archaeological evidences calculation. If you happen to go to Lothal, you can see an industrial estate which was in full sing during 3500 BC. Even now it is the intact. 3500 BC industrial estate with a one square kilometer artificial lake from where shipment of everything took place to Mesopotamia and Babylonia. Should be. And if you go to Rajasthan, I am sure he might have seen the the minerals and metals of zinc, lead, copper, amber mata, and mines and other things. Excavated during Vedic period, still remaining intact. So the zinc and lead metallurgy. So many things. If you go through all these things, whether it is mathematics, astronomy, and health science, then Ayurveda, yoga, and metallurgy you will know that Indian scientific heritage is something beyond the level why we should learn heritage for feeling proud that we are Indian why we should learn our heritage we should inform the world that we have discovered Grigari's theorem, Lebanese theorem, Euler's theorem we have discovered the value of pi Pai chaduradikam sadamashta gunam dvashashtistada sahasranam ayudadvaya vishkambasya asanno saavrata parinaha. We have discovered Paitagoras theorem. Dirka chadrasra shachanaya rejuho. Parshwamani tidyanmani chayat pradak bhude kuritastat ubayam karoti. We have to inform the world. One thing I am sure. 
Americans have got open mind. English people also have got open mind. But the Indians create problem. They keep the mind closed and never allow others to open their mind also. <laughs> that is the problem. So, when I handed over that thesis which, uh, which gave me Doctor of Literature to Cambridge University professor, the professor told me one thing. Till now we were thinking that the science started from Greek, but you have brought a book with the proof, with the date, with the name of the book and the, the chapter and line. This is what we wanted. Many people claim that everything was there, everything is there. No. Many people say nothing was there, nothing is here. Some people say we have discovered something. All the three concepts are wrong. Nothing existed here is wrong. Everything existed here, wrong. Something was here, wrong. Here we had, we have so many things even utilized, used in the 21st century also. So we should inform the world.